Hey, I'm Jack Messina with Rely On Battery, and today we're going to be going over some of our frequently asked questions specific to our Insight 48 volt product. Insight is the first lithium iron phosphate drop in replacement battery pack that's scalable, designed specifically for golf carts, personal transportation vehicles, utility vehicles, automated guide vehicles, and low speed vehicles, requiring no extra hardware when connected in parallel. With our scalable platform, Insight makes connecting the batteries easy and allows you to just use parallel systems to increase your capacity, giving you longer runtime. There are many features that make our Insight batteries unique. Chief among them would be our Super Smart BMS. What's a BMS and what makes our Insight batteries super smart? Reliance batteries are all equipped with an internal battery management system, which protects against potentially damaging circumstances. The condition the BMS is monitored for are over voltage, under voltage, over current, over temperature, short circuit, and cell imbalance. The BMS is able to disconnect the battery from the circuit if any of those events occur. Insight's BMS also provides precision balancing within a single battery and between batteries in a parallel system, so there's no need to individually charge batteries to achieve your balancing. The BMS is also constantly updating and learning, so it grows more accurate and stays more accurate over the life of the battery. The Insight BMS features a four-layer circuit board with an additional heatsink included. The Insight battery also features a combined total of 48 charge and discharge MOSFETs that control current flow in and out of the battery. Well, that answer is really going to depend on the range you desire. So for two batteries, you can expect somewhere between 24 to 34 miles per charge. This is on stock vehicles. Three batteries should be 36 to 51 miles, four 48 to 70, and five batteries should give you 60 to 85 miles. And with the final battery, number six, putting you between 72 and 102 miles per charge. The answer really comes down to what's the desired range of your vehicle. For a stock golf cart, typically two batteries would be an equivalent replacement for the lead acid you currently have in it. So Insight batteries are super simple to install. You simply take out your old lead acids and drop these in. They're a GC2 size battery, so there's not gonna be any tray modifications or anything like that necessary. A key note of import is just to make sure that you connect the batteries in parallel, not series, as these are 48 volt blocks by themselves. Other than that, you simply connect up the CAN cables and turn the batteries on. We do recommend you utilize our spacers if the existing brackets in your vehicle are a little off kilter without them so that you can just make sure you're using those old hold downs. Otherwise, it's as simple as that. Drop them in. And if you need any other information on our install, certainly look at our other YouTube video on it or just reference the quick installation guide that's included with your battery. Reliance Insight batteries were designed exclusively to run in parallel. For starters, each battery is 48 volts. This simplifies installation and makes each unit more reliable than the normal method of connecting several 6, 8, or 12 volt batteries in series. At 48 volts each, you need fewer batteries for your golf cart, but that doesn't mean you can't use more. Up to 10 Insight batteries can be connected in parallel, giving you up to 300 amp hours. Because they are in parallel, if any one battery goes offline, you're not going to notice any difference in performance, only in the duration of the runtime. A parallel connection extends the reliability of each individual Insight battery to the entire array, giving you more power, more capacity, and less to worry about when you're driving your golf cart. How do I charge my Insight batteries? It's best to use or select a lithium, AGM, or gel charge profile in that order of availability. For Delta Q, you can use their Quick, IC Series, or even the Eric model specific to Club Car or the SC48 specific to EasyGo. You can also use Lester Summit 2s or even Pro Charging Systems Eagle Performance Chargers. They all have a lithium profile available. It's all been approved and worked with Relyon to develop. Simply consult your manual or charger manufacturer for directions on their capability. Spot check the battery SOC via the LED indicators with a quick press and release of the power button. Typically, a charger will be able to display both lights solid green once it's achieved a full charge on the batteries to about verify everything's working correctly. Chargers will typically display a solid green light when the charge is completed and a flashing green light when the battery is near the end of the charge. That'll vary depending on the charger. Both conditions may or may not occur depending on your charger design. Neither condition is necessarily required to achieve a full charge on the battery. Again, simply check the SOCs via the LED on the unit itself. Huh. 
Relyon does have specific charge profiles for most of the different charger brands out there. For Delta Q, we're utilizing Algorithm 269 version 1.06. For Lester Summit 2s, you'd be utilizing battery profile 22227. And pro charging systems is required to be done at factory, so you can simply ask them for a rely on algorithm from factory when ordering the charger or order those chargers direct from us. The profiles and directions for selecting them are best available by contacting us directly, but also at the manufacturer level as well. The best answer is to charge the batteries whenever the vehicle is used just to maintain full range and full charge on the units. However, that being said, lithium batteries are okay not being charged. They're not going to be damaged unlike lead acid, but it is still best practice to charge them after usage just to make sure full capacity is available. Now, first and foremost, you can simply push and release the button on the battery to check state of charge via the LEDs on the unit itself. The other option is to utilize our Insight Gauge, which is a backlit accessory that gives you an exact percentage reading of the battery pack. So there's really no question as to this being superior to utilizing the button. However, either method will work and is very effective. That all depends on the temperature and the length of time. If you're gonna store between negative four and 113 degrees Fahrenheit, that's fine for up to three months. Between negative four and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, it'd be three to six months. And then again, on the high side now being 77 degrees with the low side still being negative four, you can store them for up to 12 months. That being said, golf carts consume power even when idle. So even if they're in tow mode, there are devices on them that will be consuming some battery power if the units are on. Secondarily, the battery's BMS also utilizes power and consumes energy while it's in an active state. The BMS will turn off and go to sleep after 24 hours of inactivity to help mitigate that. For best practice in storage, just simply turn the batteries off before you're putting them up to store them away. The short answer is not very. Our specs call for the batteries to be recharged to 55 to 59 volts for bulk charging. If you recharge the batteries below that range, you're gonna achieve less than a 100% state of charge on the unit. So it's just gonna have less capacity. Uh, if you go over the 59 volt range, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna engage the over voltage limit of our battery management system and just cause the battery to stop taking a charge. Neither one's gonna hurt the battery in the long run. However, for best practice, you would wanna be somewhere between the 56 to 58 volt range. Besides the normal operation mode, the Insight battery also features a sleep mode and a pulse recovery operation mode to conserve power. If your Insight battery senses no charge or discharge for more than 24 hours, it will go into sleep mode. Pulse recovery operation will turn the battery on for one minute every 10 minutes just to check for current or voltage on the system. So when will the battery go into sleep mode? The battery goes into sleep mode if it's been in standby, not being used for more than 24 hours. The LEDs will not be illuminated while the battery's in sleep mode. So what are the functions of the power button? The power button's designed to be able to turn the battery on or off. It enables you to check the state of charge of the unit via the LEDs on the battery. You can wake the battery up from sleep mode. You can also wake the battery up out of its UVP, which is under voltage protection. And finally, you can also do a BMS reset on the unit should that be necessary. Our Insight Series remote button gives you the convenience to power on and off your entire pack of batteries without ever having to lift the seat, which should be a big benefit to a lot of applications. It's a high quality plug and play accessory that saves you time and energy. At RelyOn, we highly value safety and environmental sustainability, which is why we spend the extra time and expense to certify our Insight Series battery to UL2580, UL2271, which is the pack level, CE certification, IEC62133 certification, IP67, which means the battery is waterproof, and UN38.3, which means it's safe for shipping around the world. Relyon's Insight 48 volt is one of the only LED batteries on the market today to attain UL2271 certification. Although LIFO4 is an inherently safe chemistry, UL2271 certification does further ensure the safety of the battery for you and any of your passengers in the vehicle. Our Insight battery is warranted for 10 years, 
with seven years full replacement, while competing products begin a proration schedule from the very first month of service. For more information on our Insight product, please visit our website, relyonbattery.com, and especially look at our help center that's on there. It's full of tons of details, videos, and all sorts of info that can be very useful. Again, I'm Jack Messina with Rely on Battery, and I'll see you next time.